Welcome back to the Demon Slayer Gaming Channel. We're going to be continuing our Final Fantasy XIV Dungeon Guide series today, and we're going to be looking at the Tam Terra Deep Croft Heart Mode. The placement of enemies in this dungeon is very similar to the normal mode, so you'll start off at the top pick up the enemies and move around the circle like you did previously. The only difference is you won't have to go into side alcoves as much. You're just proceeding straight around the middle corridor. When you reach the first Usher and Demon combination. This group of enemies does use many AoEs, so you will be moving around a lot. You have to kill the pawns first before the Usher can be damaged. And while the pawns are alive, they buff the damage of the Usher. Once the Usher is dead, it will open up the gate to the next area. But you'll proceed to the next Usher. Again with his demon's pawn that will prevent him from being damaged and buffing his damage. Again there will be many AoEs in this section so just continue moving around the enemies. Trying not to face them towards the group as much as possible but it will be unavoidable most likely due to the pure volume of AoEs. the first boss, Leah Veen. We'll pick her up and it is a normal just like tank and spank fight. There is two mechanics to worry about. One is she'll spawn a bunch of uh, adds in the room that will chase after one person. You should not touch any of the adds. Do no AoEs whatsoever. Then she will also mark a party member with a red circle around them. Or a red uh arrow. That is what will be used to kill the adds. You need to drag that arrow towards the um, person that has all of them to let the boss herself kill the adds. This will prevent you from getting the damage up debuff and causing your group to end up wiping. Most people are not going to pay attention to this mechanic and they're just going to try and DPS down the boss as fast as possible. And due to their being as they're going to freak out and just start AoEing them, this will cause your group to die. So during the last second of the fight, right before um, the second group of adds ends up getting killed, go ahead and pop all of your tank uh, abilities so that you won't die and you can hopefully finish off the fight. For the next area, you'll come across a series of coffins. When you open the coffin, an ad will spawn right behind you that immediately stuns you and then starts casting a fear. If you target the ad, as soon as you come out of the stun, you can stun him before his fear ability goes off. The first coffin will just be this little guy. The next one will be this one with a few ads. And then the third one will be him along with multiple ads.
for the second boss, you'll want to tank him away from the guy who is in the middle, as he does frontal Kone abilities, and if the guy in the middle dies, then you lose the fight. Purple orbs will spawn out of the portals from around the room. Someone in your party will need to run into them to detonate them before they reach him. Otherwise, they'll end up dying from them. After the boss is dead, you'll go into the Aetherial Flow. In this section, there will be little orbs that go around that spawn repeatedly. When you run into them, they will do a large AoE. So if you're running into one, you'll just want to move away right afterwards. As that's fine, you'll just want to pick up. For the final boss, Avery Brave Arm. When you first start the fight, there will be several adds that spawn that are not targetable, and they will launch large AoEs across the room, so you just need to move out of these. There will be one launch at every party member, so if you spread out or group up and then dodge them, it makes it easier to dodge. After this, there will be grooms to be that spawn that you will need to kill before they reach the black circle in the middle around the NPC.
large AOE that goes out will increase in damage based on how many grooms have reached the middle of the circle. That's why you need to kill them first. After the second set of grooms, you should be able to focus down the boss while just dodging the AoEs for the rest of the fight. If you reach the third set of grooms, depending on the boss's HP, you can focus down the boss, but don't make sure that if the boss still has a lot of HP that you do switch and kill the grooms. That will be it for the Tam Terra Deep Croft Hard Mode. Thank you all for watching. I hope this helps a few of you out. If it does, please make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And I will catch you on the next one.